Byte coding is a new way to code. You don't need to know how to code. You just tell the LLM what you want to build and it writes the code for you. You don't even check it. If something breaks, you copy the error, paste it back, and AI usually fixes it. Now you can even build apps right from your phone. Just say what you need and that's it. Ripley just rolled out its own AI dev agents to make this even easier. These are the hottest AI updates from the past week. OpenAI launched Deep Research. Basically, it's like having a PhD agent. It's like O1's reasoning model combined with a high-quality web search. Leshat just got 30 times faster than ChatGPT. It builds apps in seconds, and it's totally free. They also dropped their own mobile app. DeepSeek just released a new model that can talk about images and videos. You can test it out on Hug and Face Space. DeepSeek basically opened Pandora box for cheap models. Some Stanford researchers built an O1 equivalent in just 30 minutes and for 50 bucks. They took an existing Quan model and fine-tuned it through the distillation. R1 from DeepSeek completely failed alignment protection, meaning you can pretty much convince it to answer anything. There is a new app for remote workers, Pickle. You record three minutes of yourself talking, wait a day while the model trains, and get a virtual clone sitting in Zoom meeting for you. Hagen Face launched a catalog with a half a million open source AI models for everything text, images, music, 3D objects. You can try them all for free. And Apple finally made the Pixar lamp come to life. They showed off a prototype of a robot lamp that talks, dances, plays videos, and shines light wherever you want. 